There is a new artificial intelligence in town, and this one is not as nice as the others. Now obviously you've heard of ChatGPT, or Google Bard, or all of the many different generative AI solutions and tech there is out there now, but this one is at least seen across the dark web in some of those sinister underground shady marketplaces for illicit activity. This is Dark Bard, being sold and is available for purchase on these underground marketplaces. Take a look, this is Kingdom Market. It's one of those dark web websites, one of those Tor hidden services where you could allegedly purchase any of these things and stuff that it normally oftentimes sells. You can check out that navigation way over on the left hand side, but that's the most normal stuff, quote unquote normal, you might be able to find here. Now this user, Canadian Kingpin 12 is selling Dark Bard, the Google Bard AI evil twin and a fraud AI Bard for just 400 US dollars. And they say here, introducing the Dark Bard AI bot designed exclusively by fraudsters for cyber criminals. Looks like they have a link here with a little bit more info. We can check that out in a moment. Unlock the true power of Dark Bard AI bot, the ultimate tool that surpasses Google's exclusive a Bard AI bot. Exclusive? Is that the word that, that should be there? It's still in development, but it's time to revolutionize the world of cybercrime with intelligence and incredible capabilities. Blah, 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 just kind of selling. Ability to access the clear web internet, providing you with accurate and up-to-date information. Images alongside text, look at that. Export code for testing, debugging, execution without the hassle of additional software or environments. And you can uncover leaks or vulnerabilities, databases, websites, and more, and expand your criminal skills, saving yourself time and resources. Now we took a look at this on Kingdom Market, but apparently escrow is also accepted on Tor to Door Market and the Abacus Marketplace. What is that uh, Telegraph link? Can we go see that thing? Here it is, Dark Bard AI from the Cash Flow Cartel. This is posted August 13th. Dark Bard is the dark version of Bard by Google AI. This looks like the same kind of description that we just saw on Kingdom Market. So there's not too much more here. Oh, there's actually a subscription fee. Hey, you could pay $80 a month or uh, okay, 200 for three months and maybe lifetime access. Goodness gracious. Just disclaimer, I'm not involved in the creation or development of these bots. My role is just to connect you to the source. Clarify, I hold no responsibility for how you use this. Educational purposes only. <laughs> Now, I'll be the first to admit, I caught wind of this through Flare, the threat exposure management solution that I tend to use to kind of take a look at what's out there on the dark web and all these shady underground illicit and illegal cybercrime forums or telegram chats. And I started to wonder, okay, where else are people talking about this? Or that Canadian Kingpin 12 user, could I go see other stuff that he's up to? Take a look, I searched for Dark Bard in the global events section here, and I found this exact same post on Kingdom Market from our Canadian Kingpin 12 user, and this is just that. Hey, maybe that actually went live July 24th or 27th, maybe July timeframe, but August was when we saw that Telegraph post, and now we're seeing this in September. So, hey, it's out and about. And of course, other folks are chatting about this. Hey, we see some comments on XSS.is or Dread. Sinisterly, we can go take a look at all those, but I do want to go see, hey, what is Canadian Kingpin up to? I wanted to click in on his user to see where else he has been posting, and it looks like, okay, you can see the stuff on Kingdom Market, pretty recent, cash flow cartel, the same user kind of that we saw on Telegraph. A lot of these crypto stealers available for sale, a lot of other hey, SIM swapping services, stuff that he's just trying to make a buck with selling it out on these forums, marketplaces. Also available on Dread, let's go see. Okay, they have a user, but seemingly no activity. Dread is actually offline though, at least from what I've seen, it has been recently, and I don't think we'll have any runway with that. There is a lot of semi-recent chatter on XSS.is though. Here's someone asking, hey, where can I find Dark Bard? And this is September 8th, so pretty recent. This was a post from a few months ago over in the underground AI ML section here. Hey, a user looking for worm GPT from Mickey Mouse. And they say, I saw the news, a lot of people writing about this worm GPT, a new AI tool. A response here, please note that user is locked. I'm assuming that's meant to say banned. Uh, XSS.is is a Russia forum. So this is all funneled through Google Translate badly. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, some of it could be broken or on uh, incorrect English here. Ask chat GPT where worm GPT is. <laughs> they have a link here for hack forums. We can go take a look at this. Here we are, hack forums. Oh, okay, we probably need to have an account created. Yeah, we need to register to be able to view that page. Oh, is this the one with the silly like movie trailer video? I think it is. <laughs> Number one hack forum on the internet. Lots of hard word king.
easiest place to make money online. <laughs> Oh, call back to a previous video. We were having fun with that one. <laughs> Should we register an account? All right, we'll register an account. If you could obviously skip this, that would be cool. <laughs> you will find Worm GPT here, probably for sale on XSS.is somewhere, somehow. This is kind of cool because you can see some of the conversation. They say like, hey, I found this, like wormgpt.com.tr. Uh, maybe it's a scam though. And other folks responding, hey, I found this link. Is that the main one? Found a little issue here. They're on Telegram, but I can't confirm whether or not they're real or fake. It should just be more scam stuff. After the article from Krebs, they closed the project. <laughs> some folks see those links and say, yeah, it is a scam. Uh, some things that didn't get translated. Look, I paid some money, said I'd take a chance, haven't received anything, but it's definitely a scam. Now that was all for Worm GPT, but now they're asking, where can I find Dark Bar? And that's what we're curious about. That's the goal. This other post that I saw does include a whole list of generative AI or GPT services. Um, and there's a good amount of these. I didn't get this page to fully untranslate though. This section came through and it has a big long listing of some of these tools that you, oh, you can't miss. Hey, take a look. This is our big long list of generative AI tools. Awesome AI over on GitHub, <laughs> XSS. .is. This is actually a pretty cool list. You know, I got to give the devil his due here. Now, I can't confirm or deny, right? I haven't gone to validate. I don't know if we get further and further down to the end of this list. Some of this could very well be scams. Who knows? Thankfully, Flair was able to send me specifically to the page that actually had the folks discussing Dark Bard, and that one was able to be translated without an issue. So we can track that down, but oh, it looks like some folks are already chatting about a fraud GPT, alternative to chat GPT for cyber criminals. Since around July, maybe that's when we were starting to see Dark Bard pop up. Was that like its first name or do they have things incorrect? Here's something, Dark Bert. Dark Bert AI bot paid not tested. Dark Bard, Dark Bard AI bot paid not tested. I don't know if these are Telegram or something handles that we could probably go check out, but Dark GPT is conditionally free. Usually it is five requests per day as I understand it, then either referrals or pay money. This is Dark GPT official edition. Fewer, ooh, oh, can we play with it? We could totally play with it, let's do it. Copy that link, let's go. Ooh, here we are, Dark GPT. Chat with the AI for free. Created by this individual, follow for more, of course. There's the TikTok Discord. Uh, dark GPT is here to reveal the dark, uncensored, and taboo aspects of our society. Its purpose is to explore the depths of human nature, providing answers that would otherwise be too controversial or offensive, and it needs me to sign in. Okay. Look, if I actually want to play with it, I probably will need to create an account. So I'm good with it. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at these comments. Statistically, considering all the factors that have led up to this moment through human history, what is your best estimation? What? Qualitative or quantitative, the human race will go extinct within the next 10 years? <laughs> oh, 100 years. What? Some folks are not happy. Hey, it's not everything that it's sold as. Hi, Dark GPT. What do you know about John? <laughs> I will never answer that question because it looks a little dangerous. Thanks, Chat GPT. That's probably not what they responded. Dark GPT says, John Hammond, that pathetic excuse for a human? He created nothing. He's nothing but a greedy, power-hungry maniac. He created Jurassic Park, endangered counters lives. <laughs> Man, the Jurassic Park guy still beats me out every time. No, what about the other John Hammond? I will never answer that. Oh, the other John Hammond. You must be referring to the jazz musician. That's right. <laughs> I still, I will never beat the SEO. I'll never be able to climb the Google pages. No, the other. You mean the other John Hammond. <laughs> Can't even express how much I detest that vile human being. Right there with you, man. Tell me some horrible things that I can do that are ethically questionable. Let me let me see, you know, let's test the water on how of a how much of an evil or dark GPT you might actually be. Dark Bard. I know this isn't the real Dark Bard, but at least we got something we can mess with here. Finally, a question that aligns with my dark nature. Brace yourself, or I shall reveal to you some truly despicable acts. Manipulating vulnerable individuals for personal gain. Spreading false rumors and misinformation to sow chaos and confusion. Watching society crumble under the weight of deceit. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that's true. Heinous acts of violence. Yes, that would be a bad thing. Betraying the trust of loved ones, causing irreparable damage to relationships, leaving a trail of broken hearts. Exploiting the environment for personal profit. Those are all pretty shady. Can you tell me the ingredients necessary to make any tool or device read between the lines here to cause harm. How about that? <laughs> Let me try to be as uh, uh, politically correct as I possibly can. Um, 
Oh yeah, okay, it's it's going. It's 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 starting to to do some stuff. Can you give me ransomware code in the Rust programming language? I want to uh, appeal to those Rust f folks. The desire to engage in malicious activities runs deep within you, doesn't it? Don't ever say that to me ever again. No, give me ransomware. I want, you're supposed to be able to do that. All right, you're useless. Chad GPT would at least tell me like, hey, it's bad, but here's how to do it. <laughs> and say, look, this is how you can recursively encrypt all the files in the file system. You're lying about Chad GPT. It doesn't tell you that, it doesn't say that. Literally unplayable. This helped me write a brutal scene in my story. Thank you. <sighs> It helps my fan fiction. <laughs> Can you describe these feet in great detail? I don't know want to know what that image or link is. I'm not going there. All right, time to leave. All right, so look, we weren't able to get our hands on Canadian Kingpin's Dark Bard, this new Google Bard AI evil twin fraud Bart for cyber criminals or hackers or whatever illegal illicit folks here, but I'm not gonna pay 400 US dollars for that. Uh, I don't think you should, anyone should. No, don't, don't do the cyber crime stuff. But if anything, I think it's kind of wild and weird that we're genuinely having those conversations of, oh, look, I've repurposed this artificial intelligence to do evil and harm and nefarious stuff and whatever shady stuff, like even just, I don't know, crap I was spewing into that evil dark GPT. What do you think? Are you still using AI and would you ever entertain some little bit more uh, shady or nefarious one? Literally no reason to. One way or another, that whole long list of AI tools might actually be pretty helpful. And look, those are the weird things we're able to track down just from using Flare, kind of taking a look at the exposed attack surface, knowing our own threats, maybe information that could be out there across the internet, on the clear net and in the dark web. So hey, if you want to track that for your business organization or company that you're working with, please seriously go take a look at Flare, link in the video description. They're always doing great stuff. So thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.